are supposed to be the best of the best, and perhaps the future of the country. But more than 8,000 of Tanzania's undergraduates may not have the right to be at university after all. Their names were published on a national list of students suspected of not meeting admissions criteria. More than 200 of them are at the University of Dar es Salaam. The notification caused a lot of panic to our, uh, our students um, because uh, uh, students uh, who are uh, admitted uh, are confident that uh, they have been admitted uh, because they, they have the qualifications that the university had advertised. Tanzania Commission for Universities said the students on the list should come forward with evidence of their eligibility. Here they believe that all their students will turn out to have the right qualifications, but may not be registered fully in the central system, perhaps because they went through secondary school overseas or qualified through a preliminary access course at an institution like this one. But the national body which has drawn up this list is the same one which administers admissions in the first place. And all this publicity has put their systems under some scrutiny. It's left many fearing for the future of their studies. I think the way that they do things is not right because they are the one who enrolled the student. So they should know the criteria from the beginning. And if someone is not qualified, they should be not be included in the list of students who are enrolled to start universities. I think it's not fair. They waste the student's time, their other resources, financial resources, to come to university at the end of the day. They just chest their chest their out. Tanzania Commission for Universities has now apologized for causing confusion and asked students to keep calm and continue their studies. The list included more than one in 20 of Tanzania's undergraduates, but for now, at least, they will be allowed to stay. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, Tanzania.